Well, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, the theme for my life right now is it's cold. <laughs> yeah, she so, she is struggling. So I don't handle really cold temps very well. So I have literally pulled out all the stats. I got my. <laughs> Like <laughs> heavy duty winter coat. I've got leave, two. Leave sets us some of comments about what she could do. <laughs> like we're thinking, maybe get one of those heated vests yeah, or, we, or jackets a jacket or something. Or something. I don't know. We don't know. It, you know, we have all of our hunting stuff. Yeah. That is super thick and warm. We just have to find. We just it. have to find we it. We just don't know where it's, it's at. somewhere. Uh, um, yeah, I got my my thick hunting boots yeah. on, and I, and I I can't fit any more layers on yeah, underneath like, my bibs I, and my coat. So, but well, today we are gonna start on our rafters. On the rafters, Whew. scary <laughs> and exciting, all in the same boat. So as you saw, we put a double or uh, the second plate on top of this small wall. We now have to do that on the big wall. Um, get our layout going, <clears throat> which will basically just, the rafters are going to sit right on top of the studs for that small wall. So that's pretty simple. We have to just transfer that up to the top of the wall so we know where to put our, our rafters. Then we have to do that on the same thing on the tall wall, which would be a little bit difficult to do because we got to get up there. So we'll build another section of scaffolding and then we'll get up there and do that. Once we get the rafters on, we could actually finish the garage wall so there's going to be studs on top of the header that go all the way up to that rafter and kind of die in just like we did on top of the shipping containers and then we can extend the wall out and all that stuff but we want to jump on these walls or on these rafters excuse me while we still have some like working time which you know? is kind of like today is it yeah uh, so. there is a winter weather advisory which is not terrible but that's for this evening all the way through Sunday. Uh, today's Friday. And then we have like one day of no snow and then it's supposed to snow yeah. for like the rest of that week. And, and then the weekend is gonna be brutal. Right, they're saying negative 21 at night. Um, I don't know how <laughs> like the campers we, Originally it was that. like single digits or you know, Ooh. negative in the singles single negative digits yeah and now it's now it's 21 negative 21 so we'll see what happens i hope that it doesn't get that cold but um we but, always have the option of just winterizing the camper and going to florida for the winter it's not an option <laughs> <laughs> it's not. it doesn't, doesn't fit the budget we'll just fly down <laughs> we'll have jake come and get us jake's not in florida oh well <laughs> I just said you can come and get Jake it. is our oldest son. He uh, lives in Texas. Texas. So when I say that, you know, Texas is sounding pretty good, it's two reasons. It's warm and he's there. So, so we'll we'll start doing this. We gotta unpackage all of our lumbers covered up with tarps. So we gotta unpackage all that, build the scaffolding up, and then get rolling. Transfer marks up to get our layout going go. on top of that wall. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing here, and then we can start running these big rafters up here. What we'll probably do is shoot it up onto that wall right there, put it next to it, and then I think I'm just gonna have to like pull it up, pull it up to me here, put it up here, and take it down, set it up on the wall. But I have to cut that the notch in it for this thing. Get up there, do our layout there, 
get our second top plate on. We gotta get our layout there. And then Just like a ladder stand, right? Yep. <laughs> Just have to tell myself that. <clears throat> okay. step backwards right we're just gonna set this pick this straight up and set it up okay, on top just, of the just go slow for me all right now we just gotta just slide, slide it on down just slide <laughs> just it on down tap it in just tap, tap it in tap it in all right there it is. Why is it neither of us have safety glasses on? I'm not sure. All right. What would Norm Abrams say? What would Norm say? A master carpenter. All right. He always says safety first, doesn't he? Safety first. Is or, it time to get down? Yep, time to get down. Hmm? What were you doing in the woods, though? Why did you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> you want to share with people your knowledge of Twilight? <laughs> yeah, I had a teenage daughter from Twilight. was very popular. Yes, very true. Team Edward. Team Edward. I'm gonna push it up to you more. Can you teeter totter it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get up there. Thirty-two times. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to have something here to hold this oh. so it doesn't fall off. Yeah.
leave yours in down for a second. Okay. okay. So go ahead and pick yours in up over the ladder. Yep. Alright. Okay, well don't pinch, don't push it so hard. There you go. Okay. So now you need to just be pushing it kind of uphill up towards me. Just make sure that it doesn't slide back down to you. Is it right flush with even with your real close? Yep. Okay. Let me get some nails in here. Okay. There's one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Well, 31 more to go. Holy batteries. <laughs> we weren't lying. wasn't good <laughs> what the what you like it's wrapped around the board down there you want to run down the ladder and do it <laughs> you're so close you're doing, you're doing big things oh goodness go. is that enough Yep, that's good. I swear the air hose is the nemesis of our jobs. All right, so we got five of the rafters up. That's as far as we feel that we can go safely uh, because of where the scaffolding is placed. Uh, so the wind has picked up quite a bit, so we're going to um, put a board across our rafters to keep them plumb and to keep the spacing correct. All right. So now we could we're gonna plumb this rafter up right here and then we can continue our layout and we're gonna screw a board on top of it just to lock these in place um, that we'll remove when we start sheeting so we're gonna go probably right here so okay. Throw a couple more nails in here. All right. All right, guys. Well, we got six rafters done. I think that's where we're going to end on those today. Um, and it went. Okay. <laughs> it was, I think, better than what we thought. Oh, it was way better. I was dreading this, um, putting these up. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the scaffolding. We're going to get up on top, and we're going to put some hurricane straps up there. All right, here's our hurricane straps. And if you read them, it tells you where the plate line is going to be. And basically, when we're up there, we'll line up the arrow with the plate. And then we'll nail the side of this onto the rafter and then nail this side onto the plate. 
and then this just is another way to secure the rafter to the top plate of the wall and just makes it give it a real strong this is also code in a lot of places so i just want to cover all my bases and make sure that everything is done as as good as we can um, and as well as we can so i'm going to go ahead and nail these up uh, we'll then move our scaffolding that's it pretty simple we'll fill all these nails in and do all six of the rafters and then we'll tear the scaffolding down and move it over